Hello everyone and welcome back to the Booby Ross Project. Before I get into talking about Leonardo da Vinci in our seventh official Booby Ross episode, I have a special treat. My mom surprised me recently. She's just like, come over, I have a surprise for you. And she surprised me with this guy. There we go. The lighting isn't too good for this. So as you see, it is a Bob Ross Chia Pet. So I wondered how they worked, so I thought I would share with you my experience. So the first step was to soak him for a half hour, which I did, and then soak the seeds for five minutes in water, which I did that already. So now I'm just ready to go ahead and apply the seeds. I'm just going to go ahead and dump them. And exciting. I've never done a Chia Pet before. I always wanted to try them. Yeah. They almost look like little tomato seeds. Get them all spread around there. There we go. So I spread them all around my Bob Ross Chia Pet. It says it takes like one to two weeks to sprout, so I'll have to do another little video to show you guys just the progress on that. And then, so now we'll move on to Vincent Van Gogh. Just kidding. It's Leonardo da Vinci. <laughs> So if you've watched my last video about Vincent Van Gogh, you'll see that I did a ocean view at night. It wasn't super great and I did not prep the canvas ahead of time so I was trying to uh, paint on a black screen for a canvas. I can't talk right now. Um, didn't go well but I, it, it turned out okay. But this time I learned a lot because I've been painting along with Bob Ross in some videos. So it's a black canvas, it's dry, got a clear coat on it, so it's going to be good to go. And so today we're going to move right along and talk about Leonardo da Vinci. He was born on April 15th, 1452. So Vincent was born in Ancino, Italy, Tuscany. I'm sure I mispronounced that. I truly apologize. I'm not super great at that. Um, but he was the only child that his parents had together. His mother was married to a, another man. And all together he had, oh, what was it? 17 half siblings. Only 11 out of the 17 apparently made it out of infancy. And the youngest was born when Vincent was only 46. Vincent received the most basic education in reading, writing, and mathematics. But his father recognized his artistic abilities and went to and sent him to apprentice under his uncle, Andrea di Veracino. I'm sure, again, that I pronounced it wrong. I apologize. Um, who was a famous painter and sculptor at that time. Out 
After studying with his uncle, he decided to move to Mulan. He started working for the Sforza clan as an architect, painter, sculptor. He was designing festivals. He was commissioned to make a 16 foot equestrian statue of Francesco Sforza, who was the founder of the city. And there was a war going on, so they kept taking the bronze for the statue and using it for cannons. It took like 12 years for him to get a clay sculpture made of the statue intention, or that was intended, excuse me. And then it was destroyed when, the, when Forza fell. After the Sforza Duke fell, the family fled Mulan. Da Vinci decided to leave Mulan as well, and he went to Florence. There is where he created a series of paintings, portraits actually, one of them being the famous Mona Lisa. So the Mona Lisa is actually one of the most famous paintings in all the world. It is seen by millions each year and actually resides in the Louvre. The Louvre? I'm pronouncing that right. In Paris, France. Leonardo did a oil mural on plaster called The Last Supper. It's with Jesus and the Apostles, where he also famously says, uh, one of you will betray me. So while Da Vinci was in Florence, he was doing an apprenticeship under Veracchio. I probably didn't pronounce that right. He still get mad at me. I apologize. But, but that's where he started doing his drawings. All of his super intricate drawings in his journals of anatomy. He did the first drawing of a fetus in Euro utero. And he got permission in Florence to dissect corpses and he also got it in Rome and move on. He was interested in both studying animal and human corpses. He would make intricate drawings of the skeletal and muscle systems of both. His journals were 13,000 pages over his lifetime, and in the 90s, they were sold to Bill Gates. Many of his journals were written backwards, so you had to hold them up to a mirror to read them. Some believed it was because he was left-handed and didn't want to smudge the pages. Da Vinci he liked to take by caged birds and just release them. I would love to do that. That's just awesome. And in 19, er, 19 oh, in 1476, he was charged with sodomy with a prostitute with three other young men. He also taught himself Latin. I guess this is the random section of facts. <laughs> most famous drawing is that of the Vitruvian Man. It's a drawing of a naked man with his arms and legs stretched out in a circle and a square. It was da Vinci's concept of perfect body portions and it was recently ranked one, one of the most iconic images of the Western civilization. I can't talk all of a sudden. After doing a drawing for a military stronghold, 
He became chief military engineer and architect for Cesar Borgia. Again, I probably butchered the name, I apologize. But he was the son of Pope Alexander VI. He never married or had children by the time that he passed away at age 67 from a stroke. And it is rumored that his friend, the King of France, Francis I, was at his side when he passed. Thank you for joining me today. Please join me next time on April 30th when I talk about the story of Cupid and Psyche and some of the artwork that it's inspired. And then I'll show you my painting. I think this will be the first Booby Ross painting that I do some touch-ups after it dries. So I'll show you that too in my next video. So thank you.